what the bags are. I even thought about that. Snacks with a view. I'm Hannah. And I'm Jeremy. And we are the Savory Suitcase. <laughs> and this is day two of our Colorado Adventure. Trip. Yeah. I was going to say road trip, but we flew here. Not a road so. trip. Yeah. So if you haven't seen yesterday's vlog, we flew into Denver and then we drove down to Colorado Springs. We started at the Paint Mines Interpretive Park. Yep. And we ended up at the Garden of the Gods. Yeah, that was crazy. So today That was is... our first like major impression of... of anything major in Colorado and it was mind-blowing yeah. yeah it was super mind-blowing I didn't know what to expect I'm like ah oh, some rock formations like you know we've seen mountains oh, we've been rocks. to we've been to Blue Ridge we've seen mountains it's not the same no totally not different. the same totally different and yeah as you so can see we've come to another we found more yeah another rocks yeah. formation I believe we're in the Rockies yep yeah aptly named as such um, lots of rocks so um, we actually this morning started at the uh, Switchback Roasters. Yes, I was going to say Summit Roasters, but it nope. is Switchback <laughs> Roasters. Switchback Roasters, yeah, here in Colorado Springs, there's one of two locations. Yep. Um, so we were at the Shook location, I believe is what they called it. Um, so we picked up a bag of beans to bring home to support them. Yeah, and we had some really good coffee. Yeah, so if you're in the area, really check them out. That was our first coffee shop. We plan on going into several. We always like to check out local coffee shops and support them and bring home some beans to share with friends and family. So we'll definitely be doing that. So Switchback. Put it on your list yeah absolutely yeah. so we are on our way up to the helen hunt falls not named after the actress no, i joked named but it's after not. a famous writer i guess apparently. um it is a very uh non-strenuous waterfall apparently it's only 0.1 mile to actually okay, so get yesterday, to the falls yesterday full disclosure very your boy tired. overdid it a little bit yeah. um i did like three something miles of like almost 7,000 feet of elevation at the paint lines. Yeah. It was amazing and I wouldn't change it for the world. A little tired, a little more low key, not so strenuous today. So we're gonna go see the Helen Hunt waterfalls and we have Pikes Peak later on our list, but we were totally surprised to see that on our way up to the yeah. falls that there's this very mountainous drive, which makes total sense, but. I mean, you know, you gotta get to higher up in the mountains to see the waterfall. I said to Hannah, I said, well, what, you know, what did you expect? To get to a waterfall, the water's got to fall from somewhere, so you got to go up. But, uh, but yeah, we just kind of saw this little spot, so we had to share it with you because yeah. it was just gorgeous. So I kind of abruptly pulled the car over and... Not that abruptly. But not too I mean, safely, safely. But, yeah, there is... A babbling brook here, and, yeah. So we're going to go... Just gorgeous. Check it out. Let's, Let's go. get started. Yeah. So you were definitely able to see the Helen Hunt waterfall basically from the parking lot. Yeah. So, <laughs> but Jeremy got the best of the views yeah. from the parking lot. Well, for the waterfall. For the waterfall. If you did just a very short, very steep hike, you could get this amazing view. Yeah, it's beautiful up here though. It's nice and high, about 7,400 feet of elevation. Yep, and you can see 
for what I'm only assuming Incredible. is basically miles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the waterfall up here is more of a it's sparse stream. It's sparse and it might be just the time of year. Yeah. Um, not a lot of water up here maybe this time of year. Yeah, I think all the snow has already melted. Yeah, and it's not springtime, so there's not a lot of rain. Yeah. But it's beautiful. It's you peaceful, know, it's windy. Drought and wildfire season, yeah. so be careful. Worth it though. I think it was worth it. Yeah, I mean, much. my feet are a little tired and Meh. we ran out of water halfway up because we were underprepared, but, <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> definitely, definitely worth it. Definitely check it out. So we're gonna head back down and move on to whatever's next for the day. Check it out. Afternoon pick me up. We stopped at a Dutch Brothers. For our Floridian friends, you will know that that is not a local Florida option. No. She said they might be coming to Florida soon, though. Yeah. So we'll have to. Honestly, your... it's um, it's kind of a nice, refreshing um, change from the uh, the burnt notes of Starbucks. <laughs> Which you've grown accustomed to if, the, if you're used to Starbucks all the time. And the coffee water that Dunkin' Donuts offers you. For real. I do like the, the flavor aspect. Like their flavors are more feel more true yeah. than Starbucks. Like I feel like the like mine is like a like a mocha macadamia thing. And it, it tastes like macadamia nut. Like it, it's good. Like the I flavor aspect is very good. So mine's very strong. Yeah. So we'll be up all night. About to ride, we're about to ride a train to the top of Pikes Peak, so we need the uh, caffeine to get to the top of the I don't know what's going to happen. Cheers. Could you imagine what your life would be like if you just got gas and this is what you could see every day? degrees and raining at the top so uh let's see what happens it's way up there it takes an hour and 10 minutes to get to the top and then we get 40 minutes to spend up there and then it's an hour and 10 minutes back so it's a three hour trip to not breathe any air yep to very little and then it uh tickets are 65 dollars i think plus tax uh, so we got a spot right here at the front, so you guys will get a front row view. Yeah, we have the best view. Yeah, so we're going to shoot some time lapse and try and show you some of the best views that we can of the whole experience. Um, but uh, you should still look at some tickets and come for yourself. Because I have a feeling these are going to be million dollar views.
jacket? Yeah, it's a little breezy, a little chilly. I hope it doesn't sound like terrible. Hopefully it's not too bad. Hopefully the, the wind buffer we have on our microphone is working. I don't think it's, it's if, very if, if not, we'll put some captions for you. Look at this. Unreal. Okay. Don't look at me. No. Look at what's behind. Unreal. Do you guys see Garden of the Gods down there? I don't know if you can. Is that, are you even pointing to it? I don't know. It's down there. <laughs> Those are little red rocks back there. It's, un, it's un, unbelievable. I feel a little like I'm like tipsy because of the altitude. I'm like, is stuff moving or is that like me not getting enough oxygen? Mm -hmm. It's probably a little bit of both. I get like short of breath just speaking. Well, nothing is moving, I assure you, except for the, the heavy wind. back down from the uh, summit I think it's the summit, it's the, summit of the top of the mountain. Um, <laughs> it, it actually started uh, hailing it was raining as we were like kind of getting back on the train oh hail <laughs> which I think is like crazy because it like started to collect out of on nowhere. the ground and well as we were heading back to the train it was it started to rain it was raining a little bit on and off and on our way like before we had gotten on the train to go up, I'd seen that we there it was raining on. Like I got an alert that it was raining it on on top, and we're like, "What? It's like sunny and bright and hot down here. Yeah. What in the world is happening?" We already kind of knew that there was a chance of rain up there, and then when we got up there, it was it was, it was breezy like and cold, degrees. but it was bright and no rain. And then all of a sudden, it started to rain, and then we get on the train, it starts to go down, and then I mean, it it was like hard, like like yeah. Like a thunderstorm. Hannah caught one. Yeah. Here's a picture. We'll put that here. I yeah, it's small, you know, little peas, little yeah. pea-sized hail. But, oh, my gosh, it was every, so much of it. It was collecting on the ground. Yeah, it looked and, like snow. Yeah. That was crazy. It was neat. It was a whole range of emotions. There, and there was a lightning storm and uh, so many things happening yeah. all at one time. I do think that um, one of the things that I think we forgot to mention is that they actually had stopped running for almost four yeah. years. All they the, closed yeah. down in 2017 to refurbish like the track mm -hmm. and get new trains and everything. And I feel very fortunate because we had originally planned to come back in, in the middle of when they were closed. Yeah, sometime. So we would have yeah. missed this opportunity. So yeah. they reopened back in May and we were kind of one of the first people who got to yeah. ride it again. So. I mean, it's a, it's a unique way to be able to, to kind of see the mountain on the way to the top. There are other ways to get to the top. Yeah, you can drive. You can be a psychopath and hike oh mm -hmm. yeah no, no okay so it's 13 miles um gaining at a gaining about eight thousand feet of elevation from the uh from incline base camp to the summit okay so enjoy that no um you, absolutely not you do you never uh you can also drive so you, you can bring your vehicle the, the the path is rather treacherous and because the weather is uh, unpredictable yeah. and also depending on the time of year it can go from um from rain to snow to sleet to, to sheeting ice to fog to at a, a, the drop of a hat yeah. so you know it can be treacherous it can be a treacherous drive um so you know at your own risk so the cog railway is the f easiest most safest laid back, yeah you know, most laid back way relaxing. to do it um, so not to say we wouldn't have been able to get up there, but it would have been less easy. Very anxiety ridden. Yes. For we some are going to try and do Mount Evans. Yeah. Me and my anxiety. Okay. We are going to try pretty. and do Mount Evans, um, hopefully on Monday, but I'm going to, you know, watch the weather like a hawk and see if it's something that we'll be able to do because that is, that's going to be very... the anxiety for me. Yeah. For the driver. Yeah. But that's fine. So. Mount Evans is the highest consecutively paved road road in america in the united states we're looking forward to that, that we got some be... epic stuff coming for you guys yeah. even still so yeah. if you've seen some of the other ones some of the other colorado adventures that we've already put out keep watching because we got some cool stuff coming so so we'll see you tomorrow yeah. we gotta go get some dinner now i'm hungry yeah mm -hmm. like comment and subscribe thanks bye y'all or like when these people who've lived here, they, you know, they grew up here, they come to us, they're like, oh my God, look at the beaches, look at the waves and the sand. And I'm like, sand. It's mm. crunchy, it gets in your sandwich and then you, it's, your sandwich is crunchy and then the bird comes down and boom when you're a kid and it's just a thing.
This has been another episode of Jeremy Hates the Beach.